Well, it's a cult, though, if you think about it. Welcome back. Are you still with us? Did you catch episode one? We're talking about Disney. World. Yeah. If you uh, watch our videos, you will, and you share, you will receive one million dollars. You seen those on fucking Facebook? My relatives from Hawaii, not to make Look, bag on people. Like I said, I've been in mm. Facebook jail, so I've been avoiding. Facebook. But you've seen that shit, though, right? Oh, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, say yeah. amen. You Jesus, Jesus will bless you with ten dollars or something. But you know, I'm waiting for my relatives to have that day. Oh, dude, I that that did, that really did work. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but they've been gambling. They're staying in Ramona, in their timeshare, because it's in vicinity to. Barona. Barona Casino. But you know, they were let down because at Barona, you can't drink while you gamble. You gotta go to one restaurant to have your booze and you can't even carry it with you. So they're pissed off that they can't gamble while buzzed. Yeah, and I, I could have told, I said, you should have called me first to give you, you know, the lowdown because there are several casinos, even that new one, Hollywood Casino, that you can drink. Oh, jeez, the rest of them you can. They should have stayed at. You know, you can rent to Vejas. I haven't been to an Indian casino since that one time we went uh, for the uh, buffet. you got to be kidding me. Yeah, I just don't do casinos. I mean, I don't do casinos in Vegas. I'm going to do casinos out here. And... Have you done one though recently this year? I did go to the, well, not this year, but last year I went to that Seven Mile Casino. Just to check out the food you've been talking about. Yeah, we still go there. That. But let me ask you a question. Vegas, you haven't been like this year, like you guys go to a buffet or a restaurant? I lie. I went to Circus Circus the last time I was in. What was Circus Circus for? The kids, though? Just the kids. This is how is Circus Circus for kids? Is it like Del Mar Fair kind of shit? The game still? Skeet ball? You spend, you spend 40 bucks to buy them this fucking, uh, you know, ride thing. Bracelet, and they can ride, you know, carnival rides all day long. So that's the uh, Circus Circus. That's Circus Circus. They have rides now. Oh yeah, it's, it's like an amusement park, dude. Do they still have the circus? Yeah, but it's kind of like minimal. And remember when we were young, Circus Circus was the place that kids wanted to go in Vegas if the parents went, and they used to have this thing over the gamblers, like fucking, you know. Uh, they something. still have that, but it's yeah, it's much reduced. Like Mo the, you know, most of the attention is now in, you know, the Strip and, you know, all of the new developments like the Aria and the Cosmo and all that old bullshit and, eh, you know, it's all right. Crazy. We got a thing. Who the fuck is that sending me um, a little notice there? You see that corn? You know, a little icon from Messenger? I don't know. It's not from the show. It's from the, the real life shit. Yeah. This is the Fish and Co. real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably nobody. It's probably someone soliciting. I hate that, man. I I, I can tell when my ads have renewed when uh, you know I start getting uns uh, unsolicited phone calls from people, different vendors trying to sell me shit. It's like ugh. I'm a, I'm tired about these Google people want me to confirm some business or something. They call every single day, like two, three times, and I don't like doing over, you know, the, yeah. you know, because I'm afraid of that shit. But they never do a a Google business. They will hound you till the ends of earth if you, <laughs> you know, if you go to the, like in Pulp, if you end up in Indochina, they want some Google representative popping out of a rice bowl to call you up. Can you please confirm your fucking <laughs> Google business? It's like, dude, I'm on fucking vacation. I'm in fucking Indochina. How'd you find me? <laughs> you know, these it's people. True. It's yeah. true. They, they, they will track you down and they just... And it's worthless. I mean, I find it worthless, but... Yeah. But uh, I've been posting our last videos, mm -hmm. you know, slowly. So, you know, the last of them have been posted. But uh, viewers, it's been a while. It's like two weeks since I've been busy with some business shit. Uh, we haven't filmed for two weeks, so recap. Uh, what it, has Corn uh, been doing since uh, we last filmed? What's the oh, what's camping the latest? with the kids. That was cool, he told me. Uh, let's see, the morning, second morning we were there, I drove down to uh, the, uh, the Palomar General Store to buy some ice. And on the way back, <clears throat> I'm driving like... Uh, a stoned little old lady 
about 30 miles an hour back to the camp intentionally just to be a douche and people wanted to go around you uh, because the mountain there's a line of Ferraris behind me oh god <laughs> they wanted to go run it up yeah and I'm like in I'm, I'm in my truck right and so I don't give a fuck and it's a one ton truck and go ahead try to pass me I'm taking up all of this lane and I might take out part of your lane if I get lazy about my steering so you know pass me at your own your risk but you peril. know if I had the Ferrari you've given it a good hand you know they can make the jump oh I know they could but there's they're there pussies. Were 13 of them. Oh. Plus, after that, there was a line of, uh, what do you call it, Zs. You know, let me ask you a question, Horn. What do you think about people that drive with gloves? Remember that Chinese woman I used to date? Uh -huh. Used to drive with gloves. That was a pass. I thought it was kind of sexy, given she's like that Shanghainese kind of thing. But driving with gloves, outside of racing. The normal, normal driving. It's an Asian thing, right? Well... It's like white cars and Asians. I don't know, dude. Here's the thing. I see the rationale because I drive booty cars, okay? And in my booty cars, the steering wheel is filthy. And it's falling apart and all the lining and shit's... So it's sticky. Sticky and all that shit. And gets black. So I can see the value in wearing gloves while driving. But what about these Ferrari guys with the Cabrera, Cabretta leather? That's just in, silly. Knuckles showing and shit. That's just silly. So I like to take that glove off and fucking slap them and challenge them into a duel. <laughs> you know what I mean? A duel. A duel. They should have that now. You just buy gloves and you just slap each other with gloves. Hey, we should bring back the duel. I know. Well, that's called the street fight, I guess, nowadays, dude. I guess men have been doing that in downtown San Diego. Forever. Up until, yeah, for up until, yeah, forever. But I heard, you know, instead of like pistols now, it might resort to like a belt or a knife. People actually take off their belt. You know, I go to the, the fish, as you know, goes to a certain like, type fight club. And people, and then, yeah, this guy took off his belt and was swinging at me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's true. People will swing at you. And I heard that's a weapon of choice in Cairo, given our little friend. Oh, yeah? When he was in Cairo, he said, dude, I saw two fights there, and everybody took off their belt. I don't um, know, dude. I don't know about fighting with a belt. I know, unless you could do that fucking Steven Sagashi where you catch a guy's arm and you fucking throw him. You know what I mean? Have you ever been watching some of that shit? Did you ever? No. Oh, I gotta show, tell you this one. You know how you watch just videos? I was watching The Sopranos and it moves on to this thing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, under the video, so like related video. El Rey uh, programming kind of thing. Do you remember a young Steven Seagal? I don't know what movie it was, was. He's in a fucking pool hall and he's grandstanding. You ain't shit. This is, you know, you just some two bit fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? And he starts. And he said. Come on, come on. I'll give you anybody of you guys a hundred dollars and my badge. This is your reward if you fucking take me out. And <laughs> what happened to those kind of movies where the guys like grandstanding, talking shit to everybody? The Rock has been in that role, but he's kind of like the guy you like. Those action movies have gone out the window. Like, I'm badass. I'm going to talk shit to you. I'm going to kick your whole crew's ass. <laughs> You know what I mean? The Steven Seagal movie. Yeah. I'm just a cook. Remember just, that one? Oh, God. I'm just a cook on a train. What the hell, dude?